Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today we're in a GoPro Studio 2. Uh, the version can be checked by just clicking on the application name, or if you're on a Windows, go to Edit, and then go to Preferences, and then once you're there, you'll see it down here in the lower left-hand corner. My version is 2.4, uh, sorry, 2.5.4.514, .4 which is, uh, as the recording of this video, is the most recent up-to-date version. You can also uh, set an autosave here so you do not lose your videos as you're editing them and you forget to save them and uh, as many videos as I do I actually forget sometimes and lose stuff and it makes me angry so you can set up an auto save feature there as well so what is GoPro studio so obviously if you're watching this video you know what it is and you probably have a GoPro camera uh, I recently got one for my birthday have been fooling around with the software as well as the hardware and I thought I'd do a basic tutorial video on how to get started within GoPro studio to make some really cool looking action videos uh, Unfortunately, because of the load on the computer, I'm not going to have too much high quality video that I'm going to be editing in the tutorial, but you'll be able to figure out how to use the software and have a better understanding of how to use the GoPro Studio. So let's start from the beginning. So when you open up the GoPro Studio, you will not see any of this. You'll just see a blank tab uh, and then a blank slate. So over here on the left hand side, this is going to be your content uh, curation area over here on the left. Uh, you can add media by clicking on the addition symbol here where it says media and then it'll bring up your uh, file system there on your computer and then you can locate some video. Uh, I will find one somewhere here, uh, whatever it may be audio, maybe video and you'll just click on that video and then go to open and that will then import the media into this area here. Now. It's a little different than like iMovie or something like that. You actually have to convert the video to be edited within the studio. So in order to do that, we just like click uh, the video over here once we have imported it. And then once you've done that, you can go back to the original area here. It'll say step one, view and trim, step two, edit. But first things first, you gotta click on that video, uh, whatever your video may be. And then down here, you're going to see a blue button that says add clip to conversion list. You wanna click on that button there. Now, if you see over here in my conversion list, I have one that is completely done, and then I have another one that is waiting to be done. So what I can do is go down here and hit the blue convert button, and then by doing that, it's going to progressively convert as that blue line goes through and it completes to 100%, it's going to convert my video so that I can edit it in the GoPro 2 Studio uh, and make it friendly for me to edit in the system here. So it's almost done, it's a four minute clip here. Uh, and then once it's done, I'll show you how to get it into the system and then start the fun stuff, which is of course editing the video. So once we've done that, it is done. It'll say done over here. Uh, we'll go and uh, we can remove clips by right clicking, remove clip. We can even go here and go and get clip info. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we can clear all. But First things first, you wanna to proceed to the next step. So click the blue proceed to step two. Now once we're here, this is the edit session. This is where you're going to do all of that cool stuff and edit your video. Now over here, you're going to still be able to see your media, but this time you're actually going to be able to click and hold and drag it to our timeline here below the video that you see here on the screen. Now this area here that I'm pointing out on screen is called your timeline. Within the timeline, you're going to be able to do a few different things. The, the line here that I'm dragging and showing the video, this is actually called your playhead. This is where you're going to be seeing the video on the screen. You can edit and crop and trim and things like that. Now it is a little different than most video editors, so I'm gonna show you how to do a few different simple things that you may already know how to do in another video editor. So once we drag our playhead to where we want it, and we want to clip this area here on the left, we just use this little, kind of like a parentheses icon, it says mark and point, I can click that, and that completely removes that area. Uh, and then this one here will do everything on the right of where your playhead is. Uh, so that's basically how you do that. And then you have your normal play, pause, fast forward, rewind, that kind of thing. So once we have our video in the timeline. Again, you do that by going up here to your media library, clicking and holding, and then dragging that video to where you see the green addition symbol, and then bada boom, you have now uh, inserted that video into your timeline. Now, there is more to it than just video, though. You may want to add text. You may want to add audio, a voiceover, like what I'm doing now on top of this video. And if that's the case, we can do that as well. Now, in order to add text or a title, uh, you'll go up here to where you see the addition symbol, and it says T 
title there. Click on that, and then you'll see something down here that says title. You want to click on that, and that'll bring up this edit system here. You can drag the text wherever you want it uh, on the screen, and then over here on the right, you'll be able to edit that text. So we'll just go ahead and put place text here just like so and then once you're there you can click on this button here where it says Arial black 72 point click on that and that'll bring up your formatting options in which you can edit the font you can edit the font size and as well as the font color by clicking on the font color option there so once we have our text the way that we want it and we've selected the type of text that we want we've edited the size of the text we'll go ahead and close out of that now dependent upon what type or format your video is in that will also depend on how clear and crisp your text looks so remember that when editing text on top of a video so once we've done that we can click and hold the text just like we did video and then what we can do is we can add it once we see that green addition symbol now we can do a few different things with the text we can add it on top of an entire video clip. Uh, as you see that green arrow there, that would be the entire video clip like that. And that would basically put text where in replacement of video, but we don't want to do that. So I'm going to undo that now. Go ahead and click the text again. And then we can actually, there's a little area here that says drag title here. We can just drag that title here below the video and that will actually put that text on top of the video. So whenever you see the video, you're also going to be seeing the text as well. But I don't want to do that either. So what you can do is click the text, hold, drag, and then put it somewhere here on the video. And then when you play that video back, you're going to see that text now if we have the text layer selected which I do here in the uh, timeline that I was showing you previously we can actually see where it's placed on the video so we can go here and say oh it looks better here maybe it needs to be bigger and we can go in here and do all of the editing after we've actually placed our text on top of the video so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that in order to remove something like text or a video you just need to select that specific layer in the timeline and then hit the backspace or delete key and it will automatically be removed. That is the same for video. If I have that video clip cl selected, I can tap the delete or backspace and it is completely gone. But uh, obviously I do not want to do that. So I'm going to put that video right back where it was. Uh, so once we have our video the way that we want it on the timeline, we can do a few different things. Now, when you get a GoPro, one of the things you're obviously going to want to do is, you know, do that cool thing where you speed up the clip or you slow down the clip or you may even want to take a clip and reverse it and make it go backwards just because you can. Uh, and you can do this in other video editors, obviously, very simple you know, very easily, but here in GoPro Studio, they also make it very easy as well. In order to do that, you'll select your clip. Over on the right here, you're going to see all of your editing options that you can do and choose when working with a video clip. Now, in order to reverse or uh, speed up or slow down the clip, you'll select the video. Over here where you see video, hit the down arrow to expand it out so you can see all of your options. And then once you're there, you can see this little slider here. We can slow it down. Uh, in percentage and we can even speed it up in percentage you can make it go as fast as like 6,000% which would you couldn't be you wouldn't be able to see it but you could do it if you wanted to do that so we can drag it to like 180% and then now when we play our video back it's gonna be like in super fast mode okay uh, so obviously I do not want to do that so I'm gonna set it back to 100 by just selecting it with my cursor and then typing in 100 oh not 1400 I apologize 100 two zeros there we go back to normal now we can even fade in and fade out uh, with like a black or white intro you can do that here with the fade in and out sliders and then when you're wanting to reverse the clip you just select that reverse option there uh, but you'll make sure you want to select select a specific video clip or area of the clip to reverse because you may not want to reverse the whole clip so once you've done that and you've played with that and you've had your fun there, we can also adjust the audio. Now, you're, I'm not letting you hear the audio on this video here because it will interfere with me voicing over for the tutorial. But if I did, I could decrease it with this slider here, the one that says level dBs. This is going to increase or decrease the overall audio on the clip. Now, if you have the voiceover selected, it will edit that audio. If you have the video clip selected, it will actually do the audio on the video clip itself. You can fade in, fade out the audio uh, with specific uh, time frames there, timestamps. You can adjust the white balance. You can adjust the imaging exposure contrast. You can even go into framing and zoom in on a specific frame. Uh, if you want to pause and for dramatic effect, you can do all of that here. I would recommend just going in this and kind of tinkering around with it and see what you can do 
as far as the video and see if you can create some cool stuff. The GoPro is an amazing camera uh, and uh, you can do so many cool, so much cool stuff with it. Now, uh, there's also a preset option here. You can go into presets. You can import those uh, from the internet. Uh, I might drop a link down below to show you where to do that. Now, if you've messed it up and you've just you've just completely messed your video up and you don't want to completely start over, you can reset all down here at the bottom. So reset all will set all of your settings back to normal, just like the video clip was uh, originally. And you don't have to worry about going and, and importing and converting and doing all of that again. Now, there are also templates. We can load templates here. Uh, the uh, GoPro Studio 2. Point oh, uh, and beyond has templates that you can go in here and I would look at those actually there's so much stuff that you can go like the uh, the it has background music for you and actually um, it's just really cool so go in here and look at your templates the one I'm working with here is the blank template so you can do that as well uh, and then now the last step is going to be to export so if we go here click on the third step right here it says step three export now this is where you need to look and really understand what you're doing now Normally, I always do HD 1080p because that's the type of video that I work with. Now, if you have the newer video cameras, the newer GoPros, you can record in 4K. Uh, again, you can upload that to YouTube now as well. So that's even better than the HD 1080p. But purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to leave it at HD 1080p. You can salute. Uh, sorry, you can select your preset there as far as how you want to export that video. Shows you the duration of the clip. Shows you the complete file size with the preset that you chose, and then you can even export as whatever you want to name it so name your file here and then you can even tag it if you want to on the Mac whatever you want to do choose where you want to save it to and then go to export now once you're doing that it'll say exporting uh, the whatever your name your file is and then it'll show you the .mov or .mp4 however you have chosen to export it now I'm going to cancel because that is a rather large file and I do not want to want to wait for that to complete but once you're done go to your desktop and you'll see your complete and finished video so this this has been a brief tutorial on how to use the GoPro Studio version 2, obviously newest version as the recording of this video. If you have any questions on how to use it, you just got a GoPro, want to ask me a question, uh, I am learning a, a ton about it. You can put those in the comment box below. Uh, as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more technology content, for gaming content, just a whole lot of good stuff. Uh, I produce uh, one to two videos uh, per week, has been a little slower as of late, but we'll continue to pick up. Uh, as we get into the spring and summer. Uh, don't forget to slap that like button down below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and or family. And as always, guys, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next one.